Welcome back guys here to another video. So in today's video, I'm kind of starting inside here, but as we're basically going along here, we're kind of halfway, I would say, on the Chevy Impala. So I'm just going to be putting up pictures and just kind of be explaining, like kind of sort of what we've done. And then just basically the whole process on this 95 Chevy Impala SS with that uh, V8. So we're just going to basically show you guys we're basically painting the hood, the bumper, and then the two quarter sides. It had uh, kind of like a dent and then clear coat damage. And then also that rear bumper. So we're going to be showing you guys kind of pictures here, like kind of from the beginning. And then just kind of from like sanding and all that crazy stuff. But I mostly just have pictures here. So I'm going to just be showing you guys this process. All right, guys, so here we got those bottom like portions of the quarter panel. So there is some rust. So we're basically going to be sanding that soon. Uh, but as you can see right there, that's the other side. We're basically going to be grinding all that stuff. I'll be showing pictures here soon. But that's basically that bottom side, all that rust and stuff. And then we're going to get that looking nice and shiny. And then here coming up, this is one of the dents on the quarter panels that was on the right side so we're gonna pull that dent out and just kind of work with it here's another picture up coming up soon here there's another angle it's right on the body line and it had to be black but as you guys can see we got that right there and then we were also going to paint that uh mirror that one too we're going to get that looking nice and then gloss black Next is that front bumper it has clear coat damage. So as you guys can see here is basically the whole bumper. So we're going to basically be doing that whole bumper right there. So as you guys can see right there on those quarter panels and lower part, we got that nice sanded out and everything. And then it's ready. It was ready for bondo right there. So then there's another picture. We got that deck lid kind of sanded out. That was kind of the, towards the beginning. So we just kind of smoothing everything out, just a light pass. And then right there, we got that bondo. So we're working with the body line and everything. And then coming up here is we just kind of sanded the hood, which was still kind of the beginning. And then the bumper, we were kind of starting on it. Next, we basically had to feather out all those cracks. So here's kind of like where we're kind of starting off here kind of just in smaller areas then we kind of just scuffed those sides right there on the sides we took off those impala ss emblems and then we got that nice and smooth but then soon we just went more in depth so right there you can see that declin and then the quarter panels they're nice and sanded out and then same with that side we got all that uh on the work done nice and clean so it's basically ready for primer and then we basically took off the hood we primed that so that way we could sand it and make it look nice and sharp also that front grill on that chevy logo we got that primed and then sand that out so that way it's nice and smooth all right guys so we basically sprayed with clear the base coat and then clear my bed on the grill and then we also got a the hood here coming up so there was kind of some orange peel and then kind of just a little bit of dirt nibs and all that so then we went ahead and sent that out but here's another angle it's kind of hard to tell but on the edges and stuff you can see it but we basically sent it out with 1500 grit and then went over it with 3000 grit just to get everything nice and smooth and then towards the end here we kind of didn't get too buffing so i'll put a picture up next and then here uh you just basically put base on the car and then clear next so after we cleared it that car was basically painted and everything and then we started doing some wet sanding we started off with the front bumper here uh and then we started uh basically buff it and then follow it again with the polishing compound so right there we got the front bumper done and then we also got the hood done finally here 
there is still some dirt that you could see in the light but now we got that done and then now the quarter panels we started wet sanding that and then we're gonna uh, be buffing it next to get that nice smooth and shiny like glass so as you guys saw the hood was polished and everything we got that hood on there so now it's nice even like the gaps and all that and then we also got went ahead and then polished out those sides first with the wool pad and then with the foam pad to get everything nice and clean and then there's a closer picture of basically the trunk and stuff and then here's another picture coming up and then i will be putting up a video basically in it outside and then just looking nice and clean all right guys so right here basically the body line this is basically where most of the damage was i would say like around right here so now that is nice and straight and then that bumper's painted and all that and then we got the Impala SS logo. And then as you guys see, I basically polished these two doors and then the fenders as you guys saw there on the video. And then this is basically the trunk and stuff. I think there is still some swirls, but I don't wanna mess with this since the clear coat is still not cured and all that. So I just looked at that as that. But then as you guys can see, the reflection is insane. I got this fender done as well. And then once again, there's kind of still a little bit of swirls, nothing too crazy. I kind of just don't want to mess with that just since we did work in it in class. And then I just don't want to mess anything up. But then, as you guys saw, that uh, clear coat damage, now it's nice and black. And then just down the side overall, it looks good. And then basically right here, no swirls where we polished. And then up here, I don't think uh, they wanted to be polished, but that's basically it. It literally looks like a mirror. And Paula says so goes. And then this body line is nice and straight, but down the side reflection is insane the painted sign and the, this side right here just because i did polish them so everything kind of just blends in and looks nice and sharp all right guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on that impala ss it looks clean as you guys saw in that last clip it looks beautiful amazing out in the sun but other than that leave a comment comment down below on any futuristic videos and then other than that, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Peace.